Nerf Gaming www.youtube.com forward slash Nerf Gaming 1337. Hi guys and welcome to the third episode from Nerf Gaming. In this episode I'm going to be giving you a how-to guide on Garge, the second boss in Eternity Vault on hard mode. Uh, the tactics used for this fight are very simple. It's more of a DPS race than anything else. Um, but as always guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button underneath. Um, enjoy the video guys. Hi guys, this is Garge, the second boss of the Eternity Vault. Um, as you can see, when you get closer to his platform, he'll fall down onto the boss platform. For the initial, for the very starting phase, we have the boss tanked exactly where he lands. The tank just turns him away from the group and uh, that's pretty much it. The boss abilities, he doesn't have a cleave but he does have an AOE pounce that he does. So if you've got any melee in range you want to have them run out as soon as it says guard is getting ready to pounce. Now as you can see we've gone into the transition phase. You'll see me looking around for the next platform to go on. As soon as the pathway falls you start running. You forget about the boss and get over there as soon as possible and then start grouping up for AoE healing. Now if any adds spawn, which they do from the first phase onwards, you want to take the adds with you over onto the other platform. And then DPS the adds down. Like, like I said in the introduction to this episode, this is more of a DPS race than anything else. You can do things to reduce the damage you take, like as you've just seen, if you position yourself correctly, when the boss does his knockback, he will knock you up against one of the pillars that's in the lava, and that just reduces the amount of time it takes to run back to the platform, so obviously you take less damage. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple fight. Like I say, have your melee run out, make sure it's positioned correctly. That's another thing, guys. As the raid leader, what I do is when we go from one platform to the other, I will tell the tank to either take the boss to the left or to the right, depending on the platform. That way, when it does come to the transition phase, we don't have to run through the boss and get hit by his pounds, because as soon as the new platform has landed, the boss will just continuously do his pounds until he goes over to the next platform. Uh, it is successful 9 times out of 10, but as you can see in, later on in the video, that we actually failed on one of them and we all took it load of damage. Yeah that's pretty much it guys, uh, enjoy the rest of the video as always if you like the video give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. Cheers for watching guys.